morning. This is Grant Dewey for the uh, for the BAM weekly update. It is uh, Friday, May 17th. I'm joined by Chris Flossy. How are you, Chris? Hey, how are you? Uh, I'm doing well. Mike Stanton is uh, is out this week, so uh, so we're gonna uh, we're gonna let it uh, rip. Anyway, the uh, this was an interesting week. You had uh, kind of the potential for a lot of volatility given uh, PPI and CPI reports, um, but Treasury yields are ending the week just about five basis points lower. So um, I think uh, PPI came in around 2.2, um, which was expected. Uh, CPI at 3.4 also in line. So uh, really didn't get much fireworks in, in the way of, uh, of movement in Treasury yields. Munis actually were pretty flat. So we saw some underperformance for the first time in quite a few weeks uh, on the Muni side. I think that was uh, related uh, mostly to uh, supply, which was uh, over 13, about 12 and a half billion uh, for the week. So another heavy week uh, of supply and, um, you know, which is quite encouraging. We're up 35% year to date. So it's quite encouraging given, you know, we're in still kind of a, a relatively uh, elevated uh, rate environment um, and, uh, and we continue to see a lot of deals. Um, next week, Chris, uh, we have another heavy calendar with Texas and California leading the way. Right, next week, the, uh, the aggregate calendar is around 13 billion, which is pretty large going into a holiday week, into Memorial Day. Um, on the band side, we expect another strong week of, of supply here. Um, one deal to note, there's an $88 million Boise, Idaho airport deal. This is a car rental facility deal. That's going to be pricing with Raymond James. Um, that pricing is expected to be Wednesday, May 22nd. Um, and then we're also seeing a build of the competitive calendar, which is promising, promising. For, for those sorts of issuers. So we'll see how that uh, that shakes out uh, next week. That's great. Yeah, as, as you mentioned, it's a holiday week. So I think that a lot of that uh, supply will probably price towards the early part of the week, uh, given that Friday is a, a holiday in the, uh, in the bond market. So uh, continues to be a focus. Uh, in the primary uh, market. In the secondary market, we continue to be uh, pretty actively uh, wrapping uh, previously issued bonds. There's been quite a bit of demand in the healthcare sector. Uh, there's lots of news always uh, in that sector. Uh, and, and there's also been quite a bit of issuance this year. So uh, that continues to be um, a bright spot and, and a source of demand uh, for secondary insurance. Um, so, um, yeah, thank you, Chris. And also in terms of uh, this week, um, uh, BAM um, was involved in a couple uh, larger deals. Uh, uh, how did they go? Yeah, right. So in, in aggregate, BAM had around 370 million of par uh, price. Uh, lots of activity. We had 28 series uh, price across 13 states, uh, which is pretty diverse for such a large week. Um, there was a large $117 million Georgetown, Texas transaction with the Bank of Oklahoma. And then there's also two series of price for Manhattan, Kansas, um, 53 million with Piper Sandler. So lots of good reception there and lots of activity across the board. That's great, thank you. Uh, so it continues to be a strong week for BAM, both in the primary and the secondary. And, uh, and we look for more, more activity next week. Thanks a lot, Chris. Thanks, Dan.